What up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS Man. Welcome back to another Madden 16 video. Today we are showcasing my round two game in the $800 tournament. I went against Esenesta, and uh, this is round two because my round one opponent was a no show. So I got advanced straight into round two. He won his round one game, and here we go. You will see me using a brand new offense. I'm trying out the run and shoot playbook out of Stevie JZ book. Uh, this is only like my fourth or fifth time using it. So I have no idea what the hell I'm doing out of it. So I'm going to look really bad on offense. <laughs> you know, I knew going into the tournament, I probably would get um, the demolished the very first game because I'm running an offense. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing in. But it's all for fun, you know. Um, so hopefully I don't make his book look too bad. So here we go. We start off the game with the uh, inside zone. I tried to double juke, but I got that animation. Uh, right here, I couldn't get the pass off that block shed. And right here, we roll out. I'm looking, I'm looking. We throw on the running. Shabuikin! RG3 throws a dot. And that right there was one hell of a throw on the run. RG3 coming through like a boss. I'm actually going to, I forgot to edit in the lineup. I'm going to show it after the game. After the video, I'm going to showcase the lineup so you guys can see uh, my players. I did pick up 96 combine RG3 um, because somebody donated the 1.6 mil like a friggin' boss. And then I picked up signature, Norman a signature D-Hawk. So good uh, screen by him right here. We screaming, sending that dual edge out of Nickel Strong. And here we go back at it again with some hate. Fourth down, decides to go for it. And I am right there. Don't test that user. Look at this. Look at this. There's nothing you can do about that. Like Stevie J in the ebook shows how to throw wheel routes like that. Where if you precision it the right way, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. It's disgusting. And... That, you know, helped me because in my Denver book, I have some some wheel routes that I like to go to. And now I know how to throw them in a way where the defense just doesn't react. It's it's crazy. Uh, but again, you have to precision it and throw it a perfect way. And a few times I mess up. I'm supposed to hold the right adjustment and I don't. And it gets ugly. I believe that's a little bit of edge thing. All right. Right here, he goes up top and almost comes down with it, but we end up uh, swatting that down. So third and 19, he chucks it up on the right side and comes down with it. Breaks the tackle and he gone, as Monster Chappie would say. Just ends up just devouring Cam Chancellor on the one-on-one -on -one and he ends up scoring. So that was very unfortunate. You know, we end up giving up a touchdown, making it a three-point game. And I can't be in a close game because, again, I'm using an offense that, you know, this is really like... Uh, one of the first games I've been able to use the offense in. So, uh, I'm not sure what my situational go-to plays are. Uh, right here, just a really quick dump off. Uh, the running back didn't really get anything. Uh, there goes the wheel routes right there. Again, nothing you can do about it. You just got to hope your guy holds on to it. Uh, right there, another wheel route over there towards the right side. And we end up scoring, going back up to possessions. And my team name is... <laughs> ISJ cheats because last month in the tournament I went up against DBJ and he passed interference to me after I got the outside kick and I couldn't score because he cheated. So that's why my team name is ISJ. So we're up 17 to 7. And typically, you guys know I kill clock, I run the ball, but that's out of Denver playbook. Here, not so much. Block shed came straight in. Good sack by him. Second and 17 right here almost got me. Thankfully, we just get the ball off, and we get a good seven yards right there. Uh, right here, underneath, and it just hits him in the face. What the hell? I'm like, YOLO, I'm going for it. I feel confident, and RG3 overthrows it. Ah, man. And the quarterback I replaced, a little bit of edge sting. The quarterback I replaced was uh, 94 Cutler, and I got to say, I'm liking the RG3 over, over Cutler. That RG3 is monstrous. So, he settles for a field goal, and he makes it a one-possession game. So, now... I don't know what to do. You know, I don't know what my situation go-to plays are. Like in Denver, I know, oh, I'm running the ball. You know, I'm going to pistol. I'm going to eye single back. Um, I'm going to eye form, you know. Uh, but thankfully, right here, we got a shit Excuse me, I got touchdowns to score. But wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I hit him with the cheese? Okay, no, I don't. I thought I was going to, like, dive down at the one. Because usually, you know, like, I like to dive down. Waste more time. <laughs> I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. I am wasting as much time as possible. Because that's what I do. I suck on defense. I'm above average on offense. But True Clock is, I. oh, man, I am, when it comes, like, if it was, like, Call of Duty perks, True Clock master. Or two clock pro. That's what I got. 
uh, you know, right here. He goes over the middle. Good pass, but thankfully the hit stick forces him to drop it. And he goes over the middle again, and this time we lurk it, and we get the interception. So back again to the offense we go. Really quick under. I don't know why the hell he caught it like that. He had so much room. Uh, we go uh, in the inside seam right there, and we end up. No, we end up getting stopped on the one yard line. True clock is on right there. I don't dive. Nope, waste more time. Don't score. Nope, nope. We're wasting clock. True clock pro. Do we score on third down? Nope. Not scoring. On fourth down, we didn't get in, but it's okay. You know, if it was a one possession game, I would have scored on third down. But because if I didn't get it, I'm still up two possessions. It's like, you know, let's bring it to fourth down where signature Norman comes up with the interception and we end up throwing interception right back. Again, you got to precision these plays right. Um, if when you do, they're pretty much unstoppable. Um, you just got to hope you're, he throws a fadeaway dot though. You just got to hope that your guy holds on to it. Uh, right here, steps up in the pocket, plenty of time, goes deep on deep, like, come on, make a play, baby. This is exactly what happens. We end up forcing a complete pass. So, um, we end up getting, uh, some heat on the right side and we end up picking up the, I don't know what the hell I was bugging, just hurtling for no reason. Uh, right here, we go to the wheel route. You see, there's, if your guy holds on to it. Doesn't matter where you are on the field. There's nothing you can do. And when I was uh, previewing Stevie J's offensive ebook, and I seen that, I was like, you know what? I never would have thought to throw the wheel routes like that. And that is why ebooks are helpful. A lot of people despise ebooks, but something like that, where he showed me a different way to attack wheel routes that now I can implement in my own scheme. You know, ebooks are there to help you learn the game and show you what works and what doesn't work. And I found a different way to throw wheel routes. So when I go back to my playbook, I'm going ahead and implement that. You're damn right. Uh, we end up moving on to round three. It's your boy GS. We'll see you guys next video. Peace. Give it to me, baby. Yeah.